devotional series, Greatest Verses in the Bible, both old and new. And uh, we looked at Song of Solomon to wrap up last week. And now we're in the book of 2 Peter. 2 Peter. Uh, Peter, the burly fisherman, remember he was, uh, even with his size and with his boisterous attitude, apart from the baptism of the Holy Spirit, he did not have the boldness to even challenge the little girl who said, you are one of Jesus' disciples there on the, the temple, uh, the, the, the priest's area, uh, when Jesus was being whipped and he denied knowing the Lord three times. And if you've ever denied the Lord, if you've ever failed in your ministry for the Lord, you know how discouraging that could be. But the Lord Jesus will re restore him there in, in the end of John with the breakfast by the Sea of Galilee. And then he will anoint him with the power of the Spirit on the day of Pentecost. And Peter would go on to write 1 Peter, and we see 2 Peter here. And I want to highlight for you here 2 Peter chapter 3, beginning in verse 10. And he says this, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. You know, uh, now listen, the day of the Lord, uh, the second coming of Christ, uh, which will take place, uh, I believe, eschatologically, right? That's the study of end times at the end of the seven-year tribulation. The day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, you know. Uh, the Lord, it's going to surprise the lost, those that don't know the Lord. But those that are gods, those that belong to Jesus, you and I, who are paying attention, right? Jesus said uh, there at the, at the Garden of Gethsemane, right, when he told them, watch and pray. Watch and pray. The spirit is willing, the flesh is weak. And those that are watching and praying, they know the time is short. We're almost there. We're almost there. But 2 Peter chapter 3, he says, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. You know, all that we see here, you know, people call it uh, global warming or climate change, but... Really, it's just what the Bible says, right? It's uh, the thief's going to come like a thief. You know, the Lord's going to come like a thief in the night, and God is going to just destroy the heavens, the earth, and why? He's going to create a new heaven and the new earth, the Bible says in the book of Revelation. And it's exciting. Verse 11, Therefore, since all these things will be dissolved, what manner of persons ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness? You know, realizing... That all this world is going to go away. It's going to be burned up. How should we live? You know, how now shall we live? In light of the imminent return of Christ, in light of all the challenges in the world around us, in light of even just the, the reality of the change that has happened in our lives as we were born again from above. As Peter says, not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible, the word of God. How, how should we live now? And that's what he's saying here, verse 12, looking for and hastening the coming of the day of God. I don't know how that works, but I'll tell you the Bible says it. We can look for the coming of Christ, but then we almost hasten it. You know, I think it is by us getting out and sharing the gospel, right? The Bible speaks in Matthew 24 about then the last Gentile is saved, then the end will come. You know, I don't believe God judges time the way do, we do. I don't think he's in heaven. He's going, all right, it's uh, December 2023. What are we going to do up here, Gabriel, Michael? Right, I think God judges time based on sin and based on his purposes, his plans being accomplished. And we hasten the return of Christ as we share the good news of Jesus. Looking for and hastening, verse 12, the coming of the day of God because of which the heavens will be dissolved being on fire, and the elements will melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and new earth. Are you looking for a new heaven and new earth in which righteousness dwells? The right thing will be happening. Jesus will be the king. You know, the Bible speaks of after the seven-year tribulation, there'll be the battle of Armageddon. The Lord will defeat Satan. And after that, he'll create a new heaven and a new earth where he will rule and reign on the earth for a thousand years. And we're going to be here with him, governing things. And it's, it's quite incredible, you know, quite incredible. And, and how are, are we going to 
be getting ourselves ready for this. You know, I hope you're ready. I hope you're prepared for the return of Christ. I know I, I say, Lord, I want to be ready when you return. And we need to be looking for and hastening that return. So I pray you're continuing to love God's word, grow in it, and uh, that even today, you know, as we are living in the days right before the return of Jesus, I pray that you're living for him, living for the Lord, living for his purposes, his plans, for his glory. And Father, I pray that today, Lord, together we pray that you would just be blessed and honored and praised. Lord, we pray your word would produce a great harvest in our lives. And Lord, we pray that we would increasingly so look for and hasten the coming of the Lord. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.